Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. I led the effort that was made in court uh, today and uh, the team of lawyers that appeared with me, uh, uh, Patrick Agazi, Esquire, Mandela Umoboro, Esquire, Franklin Amande, Esquire, and uh, CK Hewaba, Esquire. And of course we have uh, a patriot of supporters here. We have a uh, coach here, Ugo Characho, Ugo, uh, okay. Chiyere, Imo, Ikenga. Ikenga. And we have Iwayaka, Iwayaka, the president of uh, Ohanese Youth, and um, a host of other uh, people here. You can see behind me. So the what have the this press uh, conference is going to be straight to the point and very brief. Uh, today a judgment has been rendered. So the gaff has finally fallen on the search for justice for Mazinan the Khan over what happened to him in 2017 at Afar Bay. Uh, first of all, I need to make it clear that the greatest challenge that this case had was the combined effort of the respondents, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Attorney General, the DSS, the Army and the police to defeat the jurisdiction, the authority of this court to hear the case. 80% of their effort was geared towards preventing this hearing from occurring. But today, the hammer has come down in favor of judicial, and the court has ruled that he has judicial to hear Nandekano's grievances, and it entered the following orders. Number one, that the military assault at Mazin Nandekano's Isiama Afarubu Ibeku residence, Omaha, in Abia State, in September 2017, is a violation of his fundamental rights. This is the first time a Nigerian court has made such pronouncement. The court therefore ordered that the Nigerian government should issue an official letter of apology to Mazin Nandekano for such violation and pay him a compensation of one billion, one billion naira. Now, you may be wondering what is the impact of this judgment. The impact is very significant and let me explain. Now, when Mazin Nandekano left Nigeria, he did not leave voluntarily. But what you hear out there that Mazen Namdekaro job bear. So now the court has said by implication that he did it. Somebody's fundamental right was being violated in terms of threat to his life and he fled to safety. Such a person cannot be held to jump bear. So this judgment is of that impact for now. We are going to study the judgment and come out with further for positive impacts that are inherent in the judgment. One of them uh, will be, of course, that the bench warrant that issued in Abuja against him, stemming from that fight and that, from that attack at his home in 2017, may now have to be vacated, long, broad, tongue, relating back. So we have to have this issue in mind. This very factor, this very fact has to be made clear. So, because his travails today, that is in detention today, is because there was this opinion, this determination, this conclusion that he John Bell, but the ruling by this other state high court today has put a question mark on that. So, uh, the issue is now an open issue that will be will have to be brought up at the appropriate forum. Uh, were you disappointed that other relief sought by your uh, client, you know, were struck up by the court? Well, 
Of course, when you come to court as a lawyer, you expect to win. But we as lawyers were also prepared to lose. We did not lose today. We won. We put before the court eight reliefs. Uh, majority of those reliefs relate to what happened in Kenya. So you need to understand what the court said. The court did not adjudicate on the merits of, the, of what happened to Nandekano and what we have characterized as extraordinary rendition. The court is rather saying that it has no jurisdiction as a state high court to adjudicate on that matter. So that means the jury is still out. So you see us in court, in the proper court, or we, you see us at the court of appeal. This question is still an open question as far as we are concerned. Sure. Yeah, the judgment? Yes. No, this matter was filed on 27th August last year. And recall that this is Nigeria. The other matter in Abuja has been pending since 29th June when Nan Mazin Nandekan was renditioned into Nigeria. I brought this matter on 27th August last year. That was just a few days before the court went on one month vacation. So the actual date that this matter came uh, under consideration by this court can be said to be early part of uh, October. And we concluded the matter on 10 December and we have judgment today. I think that is uh, quite speedy. Uh, I don't think we have any complaint. And I think the State High Court deserves commendation for the expeditious and speedy way it dispensed of this matter. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think some of my colleagues want to talk to you. You can. Please. You are free. Uh, you have. Uh, my name is Ikenga Imo I speak for the opposition coalition in the country. And I want to say that, and I, and I want to say by saluting the courage of the Abia State Judiciary, despite in the face of intimidation, they were able to do the right thing. Today is victory, not minding that the issue of Kenya was not decided, that rogue operation in Kenya was not decided. But I want you all to go home with one thing. The judge said clearly, the political solution must be adopted by the government. Exactly. Now, elders have told the president, adopt political solution. Parliament have said the same thing. Eminent Nigerians have said the same thing. International committee have said this. And then the Nigerian court have told President Mohammed Barry, open your I mean, ear and adopt yes, political yes, yes, solution. Yes, 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 what the court is ordering the president that this thing cannot be solved by the gara gara he's doing in Abuja because there's no basis for that trial. Because the court knows that if the government have been proactive to their responsibility, what Nandi said in defense of our people will not have been said in the first place. So it is the fault of the government. Now that the court have ordered him that they should adopt political solution, the president should come down from the high horse. He cannot win this fight. Take it. I can tell you this in any day, any time. President Buhari cannot win this fight. He should adopt political solution and release Madison Nandi can and then go back.